Hey guys, Trinity C here, coming at you with another video. So given that Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes are coming later this year, I thought it'd be fun to look at what I want from Gen 4 remakes and what I expect to happen in them. So first and foremost, I'm going to start out with Pokemon-wise what I want to happen, and then we'll get into story details and whatnot. So first and foremost, I want there to be new regional forms in Diamond and Pearl remakes. Similar to how we got Galarian forms and Alolan forms in their respective games, I think we should get Sinonian forms in this game. As to whether or not this would happen, I think it is possible that something like this happens. I don't think it's a 100% likelihood, but I do think there's a good chance that we'll get Sinonian forms. As to what Pokemon would get them, I think that they should do it basically given that Gens 1 through 4 are based on Japan. I don't think they should get Sinonian forms. I think that only basically Gens 5 through 8 should get Sinonian forms in Domino Pearl remakes, given that those regions are based on the US and Europe respectively. So, you know, they're far away from Japan, so maybe Pokemon from like the Alola region look different in Sinnoh, or Pokemon from the Galar region, maybe we get like a, a Sinonian Obstagoon or Sinonian Cursilar or something like that. In addition to this, I think that we are definitely going to see a new form to Arceus. I think that Arceus is going to have a heavy, heavy role in these games, and I'll get up to that a little bit more later. As to something else I want to happen in these games, I want to see the return of Mega Evolution. I think that Mega Evolution is the fan favorite out of the three gimmicks they've done, being obviously Megas, Dynamax, and Z-Moves. I think it's the fan favorite. I think everybody wants it to return, and I think it should return in these games. Do I think it will? I think there's a low likelihood it could happen, but I don't want to rule it out completely. In addition to this, I 100% believe we are going to get um, new forms to Dialga and Polkia, and unfortunately, I think they're probably going to be Gigantamax forms, which is something that I, I really don't want, honestly. I don't really want to see Dynamax and Gigantamax and Diamond Pearl remakes, but I think given that that's the Gen 8 gimmick, we're going to see that, and Dialga and Polkia are probably going to get G-Max forms, and that's what's going to be the cover art. Although... I would want instead for them to make Primal Dialga and Primal Polkia as the cover art. That's what I would want them to do, although I fully expect that they're going to do Gigantamax forms instead. The last thing for Pokemon, or second to last thing actually, is I firmly believe and expect that we are going to get the complete National Dex in Dominant Pearl remakes. What do I mean by this exactly? I mean that the remaining 230 or whatever amount of Pokemon are left out of Sword and Shield's code. I think they will be added into Dominant Pearl's code, and then a patch will be put out for Sword and Shield, so every Pokemon will then be available in Sword and Shield and Dominant Pearl. Last thing that I could see them doing, I would like them to do, but I don't think it's 100% a sure thing. I could see them adding some new legendaries to this game, honestly. I could see them adding one or two new Generation 8 Pokemon to these games. Maybe there's like a post-game plot line or something where they're like, oh, you go to this area and you'll find brand new legendary based on this. Or you'll go to that area and you'll find a legendary based on something else. I think this could tie into my next segment, which is a potential DLC or post game that we could be getting for these games down the line. I think that they would, like I said, add legendaries to a potential DLC or even a post game. We've seen them do this already with Sword and Shield. With the DLC and Sword and Shield, they've added, I believe, like six or seven legendaries to the game. So why not do it in a Diamond and Pearl remake? In addition to this, I think that we should see, you know, events for the mythical Pokemon from Generation 4. Whether it be an event you get a code for and you get them, or maybe in-game, maybe as DLC or part of the post-game, they have like a Darkrai story, or they have like a Shaman story. We have to go to the island and get Shaman and Darkrai and all those other legendaries that are tied behind events. In addition to this, I 100% firmly believe that we are going to get a story post-game based on Arceus and Garatina separately, respectively. I think this is going to be something like the Delta episode in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, where they had a little story revolving around Rayquaza. I firmly believe that Garatina will get one and Arceus will get one as well. 
One thing that I'm really thinking about these games is I do think they're going to make it take Arceus and put an emphasis around him. He is supposed to be the creator of all Pokemon. He is basically, you know, the most powerful Pokemon out there, arguably. I think they're going to take him in this game and really put that as a focal point and make a story around him. As for the region itself, what do I expect? I expect it to be pretty much like Sword and Shield is. Uh, I think we're definitely going to get a wild area. Where is that going to be? I've heard a lot of people saying the mountains in Sinnoh is going to be the wild area. I personally think that maybe, I, I don't remember the city name or the town name, but there's a town or city in Diamond of Pearl, I think it's where the fifth gym is, where there's a park where you could, you know, walk around with your Pokemon out of their Pokeballs. I think that that might be the wild area. Why not turn that park into a mini wild area or even a full-size wild area? Why can't they do that? And maybe maybe they change the geographics of the region a little bit so that would actually make sense in the region instead of it being like, oh yeah, this park is like absolutely massive a wild area, you know? Maybe they make that that's actually a bigger area in the region and it actually ties into other parts of the region and whatnot as a wild area. Why not do that? I could definitely see them doing something like that. But yeah, that's pretty much what I want and what I expect from Diamond and Pearl remakes. Shouldn't be too long till we get some of this information. Uh, we've Central Pokemon Leaks has said that this announcement will be coming in February. So as I said in my other video in the comments section, expect it on Pokemon Day, February 26th or 27th, depending on where you live. And yeah, we can't wait till then. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.